Welcome, everybody, to the Golden Eagle Minute, recapping the week that was in Brockport Sports. Tom Pinto, Brad Barlow with you, recapping all the action. Brad, we'll have the first team of the week, football. Well, football struggled down in Cortland this weekend, losing 35-21 despite a record-breaking performance by Dan Andrews as he captured the all-time leading touchdowns in his career, as well as the all-time leader in points scored. Brockport just could not handle the tough passing attack that came from the Red Dragons. But they have a chance to redeem themselves this weekend as they play Alfred at home. Swimming and diving was in action this week as well. Liam Henry picked up his first collegiate win in the 50 fly. Mary Jane Leja won the 50 free as well. Now on to men's soccer, and what a tale of two games for Brockport this weekend. A heartbreaking 2-1 to loss against Potsdam on Friday. Potsdam scoring in the final minute of action. Senior day Saturday was looking like more of the same when Brockport went to the half trailing 2-0 against Plattsburgh. A furious second half comeback with three goals in a span of less than 14 minutes, and Brockport went on to win 3-2. David Ruggi had the first goal. Peter DiLorenzo with the second two goals, and Brockport now has the number two seed in the SUNYAC tournament. They will get a bye and play the winner of Buffalo State Cortland at home next Wednesday. Women's soccer will be going to the, to the SUNYAC tournament as well. Brockport was on the road this past weekend against Potsdam and Plattsburgh. They lost in Potsdam on Friday 1-0, tied Plattsburgh 1-1 on Saturday. Chelsea Stahl, her fifth goal of the season in that one. Brockport clinched the number five seed in the tournament and will have to go right back to Plattsburgh on Saturday against the four seed Cardinals. Cardinals. It's a long trip, but better to be in the tournament and have a far trip than not being at all. And now Brad will have uh, recapping the hottest team on campus, volleyball. Well, Tom, they did their job this weekend going 3-0. and oh. The girls shut out Buff State in Plattsburgh and won a close match and spectacular comeback effort against host Newpoltz to secure the top seed in the SUNYAC tournament. Come out and support the ladies on senior night in their next match at home against RIT on Tuesday at 6 p.m. Congrats to them on their match, and congrats on their number one seed in the SUNYAC tournament. That was your Golden Eagle Minute. For Brad Barlow, I'm Tom Pinto. Thanks for tuning in. We'll see you next week.